Listen, when it comes to the current environment, where we're at on the stock market, where prices are at, where we're headed, there's a lot of cloudiness behind it. And I always like to think logically about situations at hand. So I want to talk about a few things in this video, but uh, most importantly, I want to talk about why I'm actually excited about where the market is headed and where we're at right now in terms of leveraging our money to start working harder for us. Now, if you guys are brand new to this channel, uh, I want to say welcome. My name is Dalton and this is Dealitz TV. On this channel, we talk about all things personal finance and investing related. And uh, here in 2022, I'm on the path to 100,000 subscribers. That is my goal. So it would mean a lot to me if you guys quickly jump down, hit that subscribe button, Turn on the bell notification. That is the most important part is that bell notification. You're going to be alerted when I post new videos. And uh, whether or not you guys agree with me on this video, I want to know your feedback in the comment section down below. Anyways, let's just jump right in. So listen, as I do with most other mornings, I decided to hop on uh, my Robinhood investing app and look at where we're at in the market. I'm looking at VTI right here and you can see there was a little bit of a bounce today up around 1%, um, but we're actually going down. Who knows if it's going to be finishing a red or a green day. It'll be interesting to see at the end of the day. But what I want to talk about is just overall a sense of what's been going on and, and, and think logically and be rational about the situation at hand. So instead of freaking out, I've seen a lot of people selling all their stocks, a lot of people talking about uh, t trying to get into the market at a better point in time, make money now by selling, buy back later when the market's at a lower position and uh, you know go from there. So here's the thing. At the end of the day, Nobody actually knows exactly what's going on on the stock market. They're not going to know if tomorrow it's going to go up by 5%, if the next day it's going to go down by 5%. What's going on in the near term, it's very hard to tell. But what I can tell you is that over the long haul, if you are investing in the right investments, if you invest in even just a market tracer, you're going to get around an 8 to 12% return annually on the stock market. So all these people, even, even myself, when I talk about choosing individual stocks, my goal is to always outpace the market. And if I'm not doing that, it's really important. Just go after some ETFs, some indexes that is going to trace the market and you're going to be doing extremely well. Now, I love talking about individual investments on this channel, but that's not all I hold in my portfolio. I actually, you know, I actually have a lot of ETFs and I leverage my money in different ways. I have diversification, but let's just not get too far into that. Overall, I want to talk about where we're at. So let me just uh, pop that screen back open. Now, if I look at the five-year chart on uh, VTI, what do we notice here right off the bat? Well, it's obviously this dip right here, this massive, massive dip, where if you started investing in um, March of 2020, you're doing really, really well right now. We've seen pretty much a boom since then, and we gotta think about why this happened. Well, back in March of 2020, obviously that's when uh, COVID sort of ramped up. That's when the stock market reacted to it. Everybody was very fearful of the situation at hand, uncertain where the market would be headed and it caused a big panic. So a lot of people sold out of stocks and it caused the market to crash. Now, obviously, had you invested then, you'd be up pretty significantly on your investments right now. Almost no matter where you would have put your money, you'd be looking pretty good. And so actually, if you uh, are looking at the situation right now, what's going on? Why is the market sort of dipping at this very moment? Well, there's a couple things that you need to hone in on. And so number one, obviously there's new variants to the, uh, the coronavirus and things going on in that front some uncertainty around that, people not necessarily understanding, knowing how to react to it. And so it might cause a little bit of a sell-off. The other thing that was happening throughout this past year is the Fed and everybody, like the government, right, has been printing a ton of money. And obviously, as a reaction to that, we're going to see inflation numbers go up. The value of your dollar is going to go down because they're just printing it out of thin air, right? And so it's sort of logical that when they were printing money, more money was entering the market. So again, looking back at this chart, the crash, more money's printed, meaning more money is circulated going back into the market. We're seeing it go up. Inflation numbers didn't look too bad. I don't understand how that they didn't look too bad for a while. And now they're starting to ramp up uh, even more. And so we're getting a little bit of a pullback from that. On top of that, 
the rates were going down. The Fed was lowering the rates. The rates were extremely low where it was so easy to even borrow money. And now we're at a time where the Fed's like, all right, this has been going on long enough. We're going to need to hire uh, the rates. We're seeing the effect from that as well. And so those are two of the main factors that I see being uh, why the stock market is going through this sort of uh, dipping phase. But I'm super excited for this market. Now, we all know time and time again that you can't really time the market. I sort of established that up front. If anybody says that they know exactly what's going to happen on the stock market, well, they're lying to your face. And so what I'm trying to do is not time the stock market. I just want to continue investing, stay the course, have a plan. Before I was investing, you know, one to $200 every single week into the stock market. Nothing's going to change with that. Not selling out of my investments because in a month from now, who knows where the market's going to be at. Even though right now I think the market will dip further than where we're at, there's no sense in me trying to time the market because it's more than likely that I'm just going to end up getting burned from it. I think the biggest thing for me is that so many people, when the market is green, when it's looking good, things are bullish, everybody's like, yeah, I can't wait for the market to pull back a little bit so I can invest more. But as soon as that happens, there's so much fear and so much panic that it's hard to watch everybody just sell out of these positions and lose a ton of money. And so when you have a plan, when things are looking good, it's easy. But when it actually starts happening and you start seeing that your values, your account values are going down and you feel like you're losing a ton of money, it's not necessarily the case. And if you sell and recognize it, whether you're recognizing a gain and you're, sh you're paying taxes on that or you're selling at a loss, you're still selling out of those positions, which are more than likely going to have a reversal if you're investing in the right companies. Now, obviously, at any given time, people are investing in bad investments as well. And I'm sure there's a couple in my portfolio uh, that uh, you know are in my riskier side that I try and target growth where... In the short term, you know, the next, you know, year or so, they're not going to be looking too good. But all my investments in my portfolio, I have a long-term belief in. And all of the uh, money that I have invested, if I lost all that money, it would be okay. I wouldn't be breaking the bank. I wouldn't be, you know, unable to make ends meet. It's all about mindset and understanding your risk tolerance and making sure you're targeting the right investments. If you really feel like you need to sell, then I urge you to take a look at your portfolio at a much deeper level. Understand your investments. Understand your investment style. Take a step back. Maybe you're offering too much risk. Maybe you are making poor investments to begin with and you should be restructuring your portfolio to a way that when the market dips, I am excited with my investments. I know that these in the long run are going to be really great players. I can't wait when there is a dip of you know 10% on these, I'm pretty much just shoveling money into the stock market at that point because I truly believe in these stocks. If I'm getting value at them when they're 10% higher and then there's a dip of 10%, why would I not see value in them at that 10% dip? And I think that's sort of the rationale that more people need to uh, get behind. And so yeah, it's a little bit of a long-tailed video here, but at the end of the day, I think what I'm trying to drive home with this is that stay the course, come up with an investment plan and block everybody else out. I don't even look at my portfolio all that often, like in terms of the values on it uh, in on a day to day basis, right? Because it's structured for the long term. And I know that if I see my portfolio dipping rather quickly, it's going to cause me some anxiety, some fear. And I just want to keep my emotions out of my investments and be rational behind my decisions. Now, when it comes to the future of the stock market, will it dip for the remainder of 2022? I, don't, I can't answer that for you. But I will say that if the stock market does continue to go down, it's going to work out in my benefit for the long run. Because as a 25-year-old investor, I have so much time before retirement that I can let my money compound. I can let my money grow. And as you guys know, I freaking love dividend investing, and that is an emphasis on some of my portfolios, which is going to prove to be really valuable for me in the future. And if you don't believe me now, I urge you to come back in a few years, look at where I'm at on this channel and, uh, and where I'm at financially with these portfolios, 
And hopefully it'll serve as some inspiration. And you can look back on videos like this to just ease your nerves when it comes to any of these market volatility uh, things that are going on. So other than that, guys, I hope you did enjoy today's video. If you took anything away, please hit that like button. It would mean a lot to me. Thanks so much for checking out this video. Have a great day.